everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So I'm actually getting ready right now and I'm packing up and I need some mints because my breast stank. Wait. So I've just finished packing because we're gonna go on a really short two-day trip to some random cabin because it is Ash's birthday and that's what he wants to do. I don't really know what's going on this week, but I just thought I'd take you guys around with me. Anyways, of course, I'm gonna pack up a couple of things from the fridge because I don't want them to go bad. I did like a lot of cooking this week and um, we're gonna eat those leftovers. We put our money together and got one of these little tiny rent cars because we wanna go to like so many different places. There are many things that we need to do which require a car, like go look at some furniture, go to Ikea, pick up things that are large, just being an adult. It's actually really hard not having a car. It's so inconvenient. That's that's one thing I really miss. I always travel with my backpack, with my laptop, my books, all kind of stuff. And I just realized when I was back home in California, all that stuff was in my trunk. So I didn't have to like carry it around with me everywhere. But here, since I don't have a car, I have to carry all that stuff around with me all the time, just in case I need it. So I have this huge, gigantic, just in case I need it backpack at all times. Also, thank you to everyone who went and messaged Ash to go buy the uh, second Degu. He actually did it. So I need to go pick up the Degu from his house. I was getting some messages about Doug and I went and did some research and it shows that they're actually supposed to be in like groups not by themselves i give doug a lot of attention like a lot but i'm scared that he's like lonely at night and stuff like that so i thought i should get a second one so we did find one it's a baby it's so freaking cute cannot wait to go see him also Everyone comment down below, what should the name be? It's a boy. I kind of want something that goes well with Douglas. I don't know, I really like old, rich, white man names for my animals. I don't know. I really don't know, just buy it. Birthday boy. So pretty, that's exactly what I want. A house with mountains in the back. It's gotta be a mountain view in the back. How broke are you? The car we rented has a tape player. He's adorable. Oh my goodness, look at the face. <gasps> You have a baby face. You look nothing like Douglas. Come here. All right, so I just got here. He is like so much smaller than I like thought. Doug is like four times the size of him. So I feel like we need to fatten him up because Doug's just gonna be bullying him. Come here so they can see your face so we can make a name. All right, so let me know a name, guys. Um, What does he look like? Does he look like a Fred? Is, is it a Terry? Elbow? I don't know what your name is, but you're the booty. Yeah, he's gonna jump. Ash wants to name him Chester. Chesterfield. Chesterfield. Chesterfield hasn't learned his lesson. He's not very bright. He keeps jumping off of tall things. Characteristics are not very bright. Hey, leave him alone. A little spazzy. He's smarter than you. How's he smarter than me when he just jump off of his stuff and hurt himself? Did you just call me dumb? Did you call me dumber than a Degu? I didn't. I said he's very smart. You said he's smarter than you. See, y'all think he's an angel. This boy is evil as flip. You're touching my hand. Afternoon. Good afternoon! It's hot as poop. I just got a shower, changed, got ready to go. Um, I just came from the hospital. Now we're on our way, finally, to the cabin for somebody's birthday. So hot! I'm already in a tank top and I'm hot. Can't get more naked than this. It's bad when you can't take off no more clothes, but you're still hot. We are off and I dropped my lemonade! No! Found some cute little coffee stand called Snuggery. 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 I don't know, but we both need coffee. Well, I don't really need coffee. He does. He's like asleep. Man, somebody's driving. I'm not trying to die today. because we're gonna get like something so that we can play music in the car because it's so old school, it doesn't have anything. Someone can't sit in silence. I think it's fine. They have bikes outside though and I'm really excited. I've been wanting a bike for a long time. One day. It's brown. I love brown. Oh, it has a bell. Oh. Got some makeup remover wipes. I'm distracted. I kind of want this. But why is it $9? If it was $5, I would have bought it. We in the Rona, we ain't going nowhere. Basically, this store is like the Walmart, Target, Kmart, all mixed into one. If you want to come back with some really cool souvenirs or just like anything cool, this is the spot to come. Ew, ew, dope. Jump, oh, jump, oh, jump. Oh, I'm good at this, oh, snap. Can't nobody see me. Oh, oh, got the hops, oh. 
Man, Japan has like so many dang snacks, but I can't lie, I'd just be wanting something, you know, something familiar. <laughs> Got the vanilla ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with the regular cheese. Oh, if you're ever here, get these cookies. These are really, really, really good. It's no! All right, so we just got done, got some snacks. I don't even know why I got snacks, because I never, ever eat them. Peanut pretzel Hershey's, uh, what are these called, pretzels? Did I already say pretzel? You're a pretzel. Peanut, this why I don't buy snacks. Got some cheese crackers that I'm probably not gonna eat again. He got some gummies. I cannot stand gummy anything. Gummy bear, worm, all of that's nasty. It tastes like soap. What is this? I didn't get this. What is this? Caramel. Caramel what? Just like those little nasty grandma candies? Yeah, no, it's chili caramels. Grandma candy? That they give out in church? I don't got to. That's your problem. And some makeup remover wipes for my melting face. Even though it's not that hot here, because it's so humid, it just feels super hot. Alright, so we actually made it. It is so freaking beautiful. There's like Fuji right there. I have to tinkle so bad. Been holding it. Been holding it. The only weird thing is we could not find a parking spot. Like, how do you have a whole cabin in the woods but you don't have anywhere to park? What? What? Ah! Oh, he jumped! He jumped! Oh god! This, oh my god! Do you see him? <gasps> we already off to a bad start. This is a bad start. I'm ready to go. This ain't fun no more. Kill him! What you want? Go kill him. You ain't got time for this. Put it into his life. He was jumping too, so you better be careful. Hey guys. That thing was freaking huge. Whacked him. Now I'm just paranoid. I haven't even made it in, and now it's just like all oh my. There goes the stress. Why is there a picnic table in the middle of the. Full on to Tommy room, fireplace. This is really depressing. Team more spiders. Not all I can see. That's a good view. You go first. Me go first? Yes. In Leave. case of spiders? In case of deadly spiders. <laughs> Stop it, you ain't even funny. Just an extra, extra bit, but a little working space. Interesting. Bathroom. And the panda's doing poos. Other bathroom. Whoa, whoa, why is that so big? Is it just me? Whoa, what? How am I supposed to shower with everyone looking? It's not everyone. I mean, there's no one there. Oh my, th why would you have a giant window where you need to be naked? Low-key scared, low-key fun, I don't know. We're gonna like unpack all of our stuff and then go head out to go look at Fuji a little bit more. All right, so we left the creepy cabin and we've come out to try and find like this famous street that's near Mount Fuji. It's like lined with all these really cool lanterns and then in the back you can actually see Mount Fuji. So we're trying to find that to get a really nice sunset shot. All right, so we made it to the famous street. It's just a really cool spot to come to get a photo, especially if you have a good camera. Um, I don't think my camera can like zoom and pick it up that well. I'm gonna try and get some shots with my iPhone. <laughs> shots we are now gonna get dinner this area kawaguchi is famous for these hoto noodles i went to like the most famous hoto noodle restaurant ever here a long time ago on my channel that was like one of my very first videos i went all the way over here to kawaguchi go by myself it was so much fun had a blast anyways the two restaurants that i wanted to go to were actually closed so i'm trying out a different hoto noodle spot i can't even read the name of this restaurant because there's too many kanjis in the title but um i'm gonna try and like take a picture or something for y'all
this is the view, tatami room. I love it. All right, I got the pork and abalone. Abalone is like a type of seafood. Actually, I had this for the first time when I was in Korea and I just like could not figure out what it was. Took so much Googling to figure out what that seafood was. You have a whole piece of croquet in your beard. It's for Ron. What? For Ron. Who's Ron? Later on. You stupid. How old are you? <laughs> Dad joke. All right, let me show you what this hoto all about. All right, so these are hoto noodles. They're like thick wide noodles usually served in this skillet with a bunch of different vegetables this one's a miso based one but the one that i absolutely recommend it's a spicy beef hoto noodle soup from a different restaurant but i'm gonna try this out see how it is Ooh, that's hot. it tastes healthy it does taste like something i can make at home though All right, it's like 10 o'clock. We have not been in the spot for very long. We basically just dropped our stuff off and then we went to go like shoot on that street and we went to have dinner and we just got back. And like Ash is throwing a fit. I'm usually not the one to complain. I won't complain to like a manager or something like, unless it's food. No, yeah, I'm a lie. If it's food, I'll complain. Anyways, this place, um, <laughs> It's not doing it for us. It smells like mold. It smells like moldy linen and like everything in here just smells damp. It's gross. Nothing is clean. Um, and there's a really hefty cleaning fee. So I was just like, why is there such a big cleaning fee if nothing is actually clean? Ash is furious. How much was the thing? $127 plus $51 service charge and nothing is clean. And it smells like urine. Like a two year old went to bed. <laughs> Heck up. Ash is over here crying. I'm laughing. He all on booking.com trying to find something else. It's, it's kind of bad though. Let, let me just show you guys the futon just in case you, you're like, oh, you're exaggerating. Bruh. So here's the futon. Yeah, I don't know about you, but <laughs> just like nothing was clean. Not one surface was like wiped down. Like the surface of everything in the house was just filled with dust. Like everything has filled by. But just like the, the worst part for me is the mold smell. Like this whole place just smells like mold and it's actually bothering my throat. So I, mm, I don't think that's a good idea. On top of that, there's three rooms and all of the linen just feels wet, damp, and sticky with that mold smell in me. <laughs> all right, so middle of the night. I don't know where we're going, but we, we ain't staying here because I can't breathe. It ashes, baby. Don't make me the bad guy in this situation. You the one that want to go. You want to go too. Don't wait. I was like, you want to rough it out? And you was like, no, write the manager. Do you want to sleep in that? White people always want to talk to the manager. <laughs> you know what? We should have known to get out of here when we saw the spider when we opened the door. That was the sign. The devil was like, no, not today. And we came in anyways. Also, just, just the cherry on top, there's no Wi-Fi. Oh, hell no. Life is crazy sometimes. Sometimes you just got to pack up and go. You know, if it's not the right energy, it's not for you. Just pack up and go. Go to the Noborisakaska Hotel. Noborisaka Hotel. Y'all know I can't read. You planned this. This is your plan. I planned this. This is your plan all along. There's only one bed. All right, we made it. Sadly, it's tiny, but I mean, like, at least there's a desk to work. It's no three-story house. It's no three-story house with mold and spiders and dirt. Usually I'd pick bigger in the woods with like dirt and stuff over clean and tiny, but I, would too, but I, feel comfortable but I literally couldn't get in the bed. Like I tried to get in every bed and they all felt just absolutely disgusting. It was like, it was like wet and just mold was everywhere. It was so gross. Also, there's a Fuji view, which you can't see right now, but see in the morning. This is nice. Yes, I don't see spiders. I don't smell mold and my glob. So much better. I look like a... Ugh. I look like how that place smelled. <laughs> Gonna unpack again and go to bed.